and see in the place to be and see yeah hi guys and welcome back to my channel that's me again your great NC in the place to be yeah long time uh, I know <laughs> but uh, today I just thought to do a great video for you guys again I'm here on a PlayStation 3 Slim Edition which is the CECH 2500 and uh, yeah this one's here that are running cooler as all the others I know that but this one here especially this one is running very very cool so um, yeah I have just opened it to check out if the thermal paste is uh, just okay or not from Sony but here already I can see hmm yeah uh, it's okay but I have a great thing here because this one here is really running so damn cool um, I have an old man here he just uh, has phoned me and he asks me if uh, I would uh, repair uh, PlayStation 3 for him and if so I can keep the second one for myself so this old man have a or he had a PlayStation 3 which is this one the slim edition and he had also a PlayStation 3 super slim edition and yeah so I have just asked him uh, which one is yeah which one you like more and he just told me hey he just like more the super slim because the super slim is just yeah better for him to uh, yeah transport for the kiddies and so he just told me it would be cool if I can repair the PlayStation 3 Super Slim and I can keep this one for me <laughs> if it's okay or if it's not okay I told him yeah it's okay I don't need always the money so um, he just gave me this one here and I love it because this one here was nearly not used it and I'm gonna show you later as the amazing temperatures and I can't believe myself that I'm gonna not <laughs> remove the seed spreaders and that's that's why I just do this video guys just to um, explain you uh, is it really necessary to remove the heat spreaders when it's working all perfect and that I really tell you guys no it's not you can just let it like this if it's like that yeah and I'm gonna now show you all this stuff and uh, that you guys can see I'm not lying this was um, the blu-ray device from the super slim so uh, I had here at home some and I have just repaired this one is totally destroyed it was not reading uh, the um, yeah the discs it was not reading blu-ray uh, discs and also not the um, yeah the CDs so um, yeah but now like I told I'm here to show you that stuff here right now now let's take a closer look on the CPU side you can see here on the on the edge a little bit is no thermal paste but at last it was not that here the RSX is yeah it was running a little bit hotter but also here I, yeah it's also not that bad I, I i saw playstations that really guys they was about here you see without thermal paste let me just clean this away for you guys that you guys can see what i'm talking about but sometimes i have also uh, just show you that on my uh, videos i saw playstations really that the thermal paste was just not really up there just yeah stuff like that you know and sometimes the problem is because um some bended heat spreaders and sometimes also some bad coolers but here the cooler looks great and for now I have just decided not to remove this heat spreaders I can't believe that NSC <laughs> is just telling myself that I'm gonna not remove the heat spreaders but I'm gonna show you later why because these temperatures they are really just awesome so um, here again let's take a look also on the cooler and you can see also here on the CPU side it looks all really great okay maybe here just that's why you can see it also here and here the RSX side which is this part okay but like I told um, this is yeah of course not that really great but uh, it's also not that terrible okay so that's why um, again the question guys is it really necessary always to remove the heat spreaders yes or not and on this PlayStation I need to tell you no guys no it's not necessary and it's also not worth because you can just let it like this I'm gonna now here just apply uh, a great thermal compound like MX4 or thermal grizzly cryonaut or whatever it's up to you guys but uh, of course it will be a better thermal paste as just the stock one from Sony because they they just use here some kind of yogurt <laughs> so this is the white thermal paste which yeah you can find everywhere this is from just some uh, just some cheapy thermal paste so now I got it and yeah that's why I'm gonna not just clean this all the way I'm gonna pause the video 
then I'm going to boot all together and then I'm going to show you the amazing temperatures guys because I had here on I think God of War 3 I think uh, I had about on maximum uh, 62 degrees it was really maximum and I was here idling on about 49 <laughs> so um yeah it's yeah like i told it's it conforms also the fan speed of course yeah so uh, i have set the fan speed like i always set my fan speed on 29 percent 28 29 percent is fully enough and if the temperature just stays like on this one then you can be sure guys you not need really always to remove the heat breathers but when you see that one let's say the rsx is running on about 80 degrees with a 29% fan speed and the other one is just running on 60 then you know of course okay the RSX now needs to be open okay and needs to be really removed but on this case here it's just not worth to remove the seat spreaders okay and that's why this PlayStation is just an amazing one because it's the last the latest great PlayStation 3 Slim Editions which has already um, like you can see here the Tantal uh, uh chips because um, they was removed also already from sony on these models because they already know uh, that the neck tokens can make some problems with the time but at last really guys i need to tell you one thing um the 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 problem is not really uh, always from sony you know so yeah we can say yes <laughs> but um they have really done a great work the only problem is the problem from the fan speed because the fan speed is turning so low and i know that a lot of people they just like the consoles to be very quiet but the problem is when you have a quiet playstation your fan will not turn that much and of course they will run hotter okay and that's why it's just like a graphics card on the computer you know so when you just start the game on your computer the graphics card begins <laughs> to give yeah the fan some power because the graphics card gets hot and that's the same with the playstations you know the playstations they cannot run always all the time just really quiet also if you just yeah or even if you play a, a hardcore game like god of war 3 or the last of us or whatever so the the, the ventilator the, the fan needs to spin or to spin a little bit faster otherwise your playstation gonna overheat and if you have just a wonderful playstation just like here and if you have just a jailbreak with batman mod and if uh, yeah if you just have set the fan just perfectly I, I bet my ass maybe i'm gonna keep this playstation for myself so in five years i can just uh, uh yeah show you again the temperatures but uh, this is always of course for the test because i got here any playstations that uh, i have just uh, to sell for the people and uh, but this one here i don't know because it was just like a yeah you know it was from an old man and god thanks that i have just here a playstation like this because this is very rare guys a playstation 3 edition that is running so cool after so many years is really uh, yeah, I have not so often so many PlayStations that are just in great conditions like this one here, okay? This one here is really running very, very cool. And yeah, I'm not uh, here to uh, yeah speak again so much. <laughs> I'm going to do my work now. I'm going to clean this all. I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to uh, just put it all together. I don't know um, for which um, table paste I'm going to go, but the most of you guys, you just have MX4. And I think that's why I'm going to also just apply the um, yeah MX4 thermal paste because the most of you guys you just use Arctic uh, MX4 and here's the of course the uh, thermal grizzly cryonaut which is also very great I got here also the newest um, hot calls uh, thermal paste from Cooler Master which is um, the um, master maker or gale maker or whatever i have just forgot about the name but yeah this is also not that bad but sometimes thermal pastes can really be difficult uh, for you guys to apply because some thermal pastes they are really hard you know so they are not so soft and mx4 is just nice for everybody guys and that's why i'm gonna go on this playstation now just for mx4 because yeah it's just okay it's just enough and it's even better as the stock Tamil Pest. Okay guys, so I hope you have understand all. Like I told here we are, or I am here uh, on one of the latest PlayStation 3 Slim Editions because after this model um, they have made the CECH 3000 uh, editions and after the 3000 editions they have made the CECH 4000 editions which was the PlayStation 3 Super Slim, okay? <laughs> but yeah, um, 
really great guys uh, this was a great thing this old man really a great man and uh, yeah he had not so much money and uh, i was some kind of sad for him some kind of i know so uh, okay why not um, what can i do so he told me hey he have two playstations if i can be so kindy or uh, uh, yeah and uh, we pay him one and i can keep the second one for me and i told him yeah why not i don't need always the money i'm i'm i prefer to to make him happy you know so <laughs> yeah like you guys already know me so yeah peace i'm gonna do the work and i'm gonna pause right now so guys like you can see i have just clean it all and the other thing that i have made extra um i got here some polish sandpaper and um the um, stock cooler from sony um the structure is some kind of if it was lapped with let's say 80 sandpaper and i have now just lapped it over with uh, something like about 1000 sandpaper because um yeah you can see here the structure uh, uh was just lapped this way you see that and on the cpu side um it was lapped this way okay and so i have here you can really see that the structure here um, is not that fine and uh, you can also be able to hear that if you just scratch it with your fingernail you can see that and um, so I have just lap it but this way okay not this way because it was already lapped like that <laughs> I have just lapped this way with some great polish uh, stuff like this one here you can also use 1000 sandpaper just a little bit because um, of course like that you're gonna not use so much thermal paste because with uh, if the structure is so deep you know so you're gonna of course need more uh, thermal paste and the um, how it calls the cooling will also not be that great of course not because the metal is not sitting perfectly over the cooler because the structure is just yeah uh, some kind of rough or i don't know how to, uh, to explain it. it's not fine you know so that's why uh, you can see here the the structure that it was lapped before is just here this way and i have just talked this polish stuff here and i have just lapped it like that okay and don't lap always on one uh, position also that means stay not always always here <laughs> you, you need really to get um just perfectly uh, down and you go up again okay you can also count the times how much or how many times you you just left it you need to work here really perfectly guys okay and like you can see here i have also my tool to check this all out and it was okay it was not that bad and that's why i have just do it yeah a little bit better like it was before so here i'm gonna not yeah need so many thermal paste and the thermal paste here gonna be able to spread better you know so yeah great thing yeah and look this is how it looks like uh, when you have just left it a little bit and then you just clean it with IPA with isopropanol or iso or IPA in English and a lot of people think sometimes it's just enough when you just clean the dust away and look here <laughs> it's not enough because the dust is sitting deep inside okay so here take care let me now just get this side here so that you just can see because I have cleaned it already, but it's still there, okay? Take a look. Very, very black. Let's go for a new place. And yeah, you need you need to, to know, guys, um, these coolers, they are not the best because this is just all aluminium. Sony, they should do that all, yeah, with Cooper. So, uh, of course, the stuff will run way cooler because Cooper can transfer the heat way faster. Aluminium is just blocking the temperature of some kind of, you know. So <laughs> look at this. <clears throat> Again. Yeah, it gets better. But this is the way you should go, guys. Yeah, it gets better. <laughs> It was very very black before so you know it was very very dirty with a lots of metal dust or aluminium <laughs> okay gonna keep doing my work and I'm record soon again so guys like you can see I have not just apply everywhere 
a little bit of thermal paste and then I have made a, yeah, a line in the middle, in the center of the heat spreaders just to be very sure that all gonna be really yeah, close it and spread a lot. <laughs> yeah guys, I'm gonna now just close it all together and uh, yeah, I hope you like it for now. Really, really great thing guys. <laughs> So guys, I just came back to look and I have here just 30 seconds left so I can put my smartphone back and uh, temperatures are just fine here on 49, 48 and yeah, this is a great video guys for you know if you just have a PlayStation from beginning that is running just cool then you should really, um, yeah, jailbreak it. <laughs> So fast as you can because then you can just uh, install a great application just like webman mod and then you can just turn your fan a little bit higher and the playstation so will of course uh, last for a longer time and uh, yeah thermal paste inside the heat spreaders gonna yeah last for a longer time let's say like that okay so that's why if you just have a playstation like that you don't need really to remove the heat spreaders if you just notice that it's already running cool, it's really great. And like you can see, I have here uh, no uh, case on the top. So that means I can just uh, get the lights on. Here we go. So here, um, I have not just got the yeah the case. Uh, yeah, I just have it open because yesterday I have tested for me, for myself. And yesterday I had already... Uh, 49 and uh, also on the RSX I think it was 53 because I told you guys yesterday the RSX was running a little bit hotter but you saw in the video uh, the reason why so here now CPU is on 49 which is really great and the RSX is on 50 which is also really great and uh, not to forget today it's um, like I have shown you before 22 degrees and yesterday it was 20 so that means um, it will be normally on 47 degrees here, okay, because you need to uh, calculate 2 degrees minus, okay, not 49, 48, 47. So that means with 20 um, degrees room temperature, the CPU will be now on 47 degrees, guys, okay, that's really amazing. So that means <laughs> you, can this, you can let this PlayStation run with a case. And you even do not need some holes, you know, you don't need some case modding here. Because it's just great like this, you can close it and then it will be about, I don't know, 4 or 5 or 6 degrees hotter, but it's just okay because this uh, Slim Edition here is really just running great. So let me now just, um, yeah, get this off here. Here we go. And um, I could do a quick test for you guys, just that you guys can see how this... Uh, PlayStation is running while we are gaming. <laughs> yeah, wait, my fault. So here, <clears throat> let's just get it here. So, and let's just start it. Yeah, I can do a quick game for you guys because normally in few minutes we're gonna eat some food. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna take my time, uh, my time for you guys. So the fan speed will stay on 28 percent and now we can just start it and this is all just great for the tests and uh, a reason uh, for you guys know that you don't need always to remove the heat spreaders if you have a playstation like that you can really be happy and then of course you should yeah jailbreak your playstation because uh, the sad really the sad thing is that um, on a normal firmware 
you will be not able to set the fan higher. You need to work with some potentiometers, just like I have shown you already in my other videos, so you can accelerate your fan yourself. But otherwise, um, if you are able to jailbreak your PlayStation, then do it. Do it because after that you can just install uh, yeah, this great application, which is Webman Mod. Okay, so here, hope you can see that all. Yeah. While gaming, and I'm sorry for my kitty sometimes when they are a little bit loud, but yeah, <laughs> that's how it is when you have family. So, and uh, it's all about the family, you know. So, first, always the family, and then the rest. Yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna maybe pause because this is now gonna run and run and run because this is the intro. And I have to start this uh, game now for the first time uh, with this hard disk, with this uh, HDD. And like I told you before, it was uh, HDD with 160 gigabytes. But now I have here installed one with 500 gigabytes. Maybe I'm gonna uh, keep this PlayStation for myself for the next test in the future. Because I can tell you one thing, guys. Uh, if you have just like this, all prepared like this, you really will not be able or you don't need to remove the heat breeders uh, in the next years <laughs> okay but um, it's really important that your fan is running a little bit faster otherwise the thermal paste inside the heat breeders gonna get dry and uh, yeah it's just <laughs> gonna not work anymore and that's why it's just yeah very very um, important that you do it otherwise you should of course remove the heat breeders if you are able to but a lot of people are afraid to do that and um, if you have a playstation like this guys really um, then you can really be happy guys so i have just noticed this because uh, this one here was from an old man like i told and the first thing that i have just done is i have just jailbreak it you know so <laughs> i was on the way to jailbreak it then i have just installed quickly uh batman mod and I saw that the temperatures was really not that high. And as a good, a good point to notice if your PlayStation is already overheating or not is when you just hear your fan spinning a lot or spinning very high, then you know that your PlayStation is already overheating. Okay? And that's why you should, of course, latest then you should remove the heat spreaders because otherwise it's gonna <laughs> overheat. But yeah. Like I told, this one here, a nice one, was not really running a lot, and that's why I can see that. So that means, um, if I would just remove the heat spreaders here right now, I can tell you one thing, guys. The thermal paste inside the heat spreaders here will look very great. And that's why I have not removed it now, because it's not needed yet. <laughs> yeah, nice. And now, I have just applied some great MX4. Included a great uh, application like Webman mod and um, a faster turning fan speed, of course. It will just last for a very, very long time, guys. Okay, so this one here was the CECH 2500. With a PlayStation like this, you can play <laughs> one week without pause. <laughs> so here we are now. My favorite place to test the graphics. My favorite place to test the PlayStation temperatures. Finally here. So I'm gonna just stay here. This is now, yeah, kicking higher the temperatures. But look, still under 60 degrees, guys. And um, of course the R6 now is running hotter because the graphics chip now is of course working a lot more than the CPU and yeah it's just wonderful I can wait here now about one minute and um, maybe then I'm gonna close the um, how it called the case just for a test but uh, yeah it looks just nice because uh, I just wanted to do this test right now like it is because yesterday I had as a no case and uh, yesterday I have just done the test for myself I was not 
recording it because I normally just don't want to do a video. I normally just wanted to cut the heat spreaders, <laughs> but then I saw that this PlayStation is just not necessary to be deleted, and that's why I just do this video for you guys. Again, a little bit longer video, but yeah, it's just necessary. Sometimes I need to show you all so you can understand more, you know. 54, 59, so the CPU jumped one degree. And we have here 22.4 room temperature. Okay. That means you cold go here to 52 degrees if you have 20 degrees room temperature. Okay. You need also always to calculate your room temperature. Okay. Of course, if it's very hot in your room, <laughs> the PlayStation will run hot. Also, so guys, yeah, it's nice, and uh, it's also nice to see that the CPU is running cooler as the RSX. So this is all just logic. Let me not just make the lights on, and yeah, temperatures are not changing that much. Fan speed also not. Go a little bit back now for you guys. Now let's see the difference uh, with without the case and with the case. So I'm gonna now close it. Here we go. Just to see the difference. Of course it will be a little bit hotter but it's still okay guys like you can see here all under 70 degrees is just okay what a beautiful playstation 3 slim edition these are the last uh, playstation 3 slim editions uh, where you can just have a full jailbreak because all, or all other models um, you can just install Han and Han and whatever but uh, on this PlayStation versions up to the version 2500 uh, you can install a real custom firmware and that's why I just love this ones. And like you can see already the temperatures are getting higher a little bit because uh, yeah we have closed the case but it's still okay and it's yeah just still fine and it's very important guys that you really just turn your fan a little bit higher because the PSU needs always also to be cooled and um, PSU on the slim editions um, yeah they are running a little bit hot also if your fan is turning very slow, okay. Yeah, but it looks nice. 5862. Not change it much. 5863. Uh, still okay. Fifty-nine sixty-three. Yeah, this is the difference. <laughs> Like I have told you before, uh, without holes and with holes, it's also a great test for you guys. But these are still wonderful temperatures, guys. Promise. And like I told, um, as you have just changed the thermal paste. If you have just changed it fresh, it needs about one, two or three days till the thermal paste is really spread it out. Okay, because it conforms, of course, the, the pressure and uh, you need to give it some time. Okay, and that's why you can also start the game just like this. This will help the thermal paste spread really great because, yeah, when the thermal paste gets a little bit hot, 
it will be able or it will be better to spread it out so guys 60 64 yeah like I told about five, uh, five or six degrees uh, if you have your case without holes but it's just okay 61 65 still okay guys and I can tell you one thing guys um, the holes sometimes to make some holes on, on your case is more important and more efficient I think it costs like that it, it, it's, it's better than uh, to uh, get you the best thermal paste you know because a lot of people think ah the best thermal paste is, is more important as whatever but this is just not true okay so um, I have tested a lot already and uh, it doesn't matter if you have one of the best thermal paste or not uh, you're gonna have maybe one degrees better temperatures and not more but if you do some holes on your case of course you're gonna have way way better um, temperatures as just with yeah let's say the best temp uh, the best uh, thermal paste doesn't matter even if it is liquid metal with you guys okay you're gonna have more difference if you just do some holes on your case because then the airflow can just yeah flow better you just have more airflow and yeah you need to know that guys I have tested already and it's more worth to make some holes in the case so already 62 66 has changed again a little bit but um, it's still okay like I told we are still far away from 68 let's say about um, yeah 4 degrees because it's uh, 66 67 68 okay so here we have 2 degrees okay here 66 so 2 degrees till 68 degrees and 62 on the CPU Ah, it's okay now it gets uh, nearly 67 degrees and now just now the fan is getting a little bit higher you see just now because it has already uh, reached 67 degrees okay and yeah this is just all happening because of yeah the closed case without holes okay see that let me not just turn the lights on I'm gonna just for you I'm gonna just take off the case and then take a look on the temperatures so I'm gonna now just take off the case wait here we go now the PlayStation can breathe <laughs> it's gonna hear. Sixty one, sixty seven. Look, the fan speed is already going down. Have you seen that? How fast the fan speed gets down again? <laughs> just because we have removed the case. And that's why it's just important that you just do some holes on the case. And then <laughs> just the best. So I need to plug in my controller. It's already tell, telling me that my battery is going off. Do you see that? It's blinking. Yeah, guys, this is the best proof that um, yeah, the holes on your case is one of the most important ever on the PlayStation 3 Slim Edition or which version ever and you can see that but I just wanted to show you this video that it's not always necessary to remove the heat spreaders if they are just okay in this case you can just work around 
with some holes in the case, with uh, yeah the Batman mod, or with a fan accelerator, just like on my videos. So for the people that has just an or uh, um, an original firmware, they can they can they can go here around with a uh, yeah potentiometer with a fan accelerator, and then it's all okay, guys. So it's yeah temperatures getting. Low again, of course this is gonna need now about one, two or three minutes, but this is just fully normal. Okay guys, um, I'm off for now. I hope you guys just like this video. You see how fast the temperatures just gets down again. We was here nearly on 69 degrees, 68, 69, it was on the way to 69, that's why the fan speed was turning faster. And I have just removed the case and look how great the temperatures are. The fan is still on 28%. I'm gonna now just um, close the game that you guys can also see the temperatures uh, getting down really nice and this is just the best proof where you guys can see that. Look now how fast the temperatures get down now. See that? It was already on, it was right now on 64 degrees and it just jumped it back to 61 because these are the real temperatures right now. All the rest was because the PlayStation was working, of course. But this is just perfect, guys. <laughs> this PlayStation here is just wonderful. You can light it now here for the next years without problem like that. As you are just using Batman mod, you really don't need to yeah, delete the heat spreaders. Yeah, right now. <laughs> you can let it like this. Promise you guys. Yeah, I know that. Okay, that was all for me. And seeing the place to be. Wonderful thing. <laughs> and like I told, uh, a little bit more room temperatures, like 28.8. So nearly 3 degrees more than yesterday. See that? So, of course, the room here gets a little bit hotter with the time because the PlayStation was running. And if you have your five or six computers here inside, <laughs> of course the room will get a little bit hot with the time. And But this was okay just for the test. You can calculate here minus 3 degrees right now. 22.8. Okay, so minus 2.8 degrees. Okay, so here. It's just perfect, guys. Just nice. <laughs> okay, man. See you soon. It was all for me, NSC in the place to be. Stay tuned on my channel and I hope you understand this video. I hope you like this video. This was all just for you guys. And this PlayStation here, like I told you, doesn't need to be deleted yet. Maybe in the next two or three years, but not yet. <laughs> Peace. NSC in the place to be. And see. <laughs> yeah, guys, and because I can't believe it myself, I'm gonna just remove it right now. <laughs> because, yeah, you know, already, like I told all the time, earlier or later, you're gonna need to remove them. So, whatever, let's do that. It's good for the test, good for the temperature test. <laughs> so, here, with you just removing the stuff. And you need to know on newer PlayStations, this is some kind of how it calls, a little bit difficult and harder. So you should, uh, yeah, be careful because um, the newest or the latest PlayStation 3 Slim Editions, the heat spreaders here are better fixed. That means they are better glued with the thermal glue that they have inside. And um, yeah, a great lighter just like I have, gonna help you a lot guys, really a lot. This is just fantastic with a lighter like this. Uh huh. I hear it already. I love this sound. <laughs> so yeah, like I told you guys, take care. Always doing that stuff because I know already what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see something. Yeah, you can see that. So here, just take care. Let's not get this one here inside or try to get it inside. Do not, um, yeah, destroy the chips here inside. Yeah, it gets really hot, I can feel it. 
So I'm gonna heat it a little bit more. Take your hand, your hand under there, so you're gonna feel if it's just too hot or not. Now this one here needs to get heated up and this one here. And you need to be fast because when you just have heated up, you're gonna not need to force so much because as long as it's really a little bit hot, um, it's gonna help you really because the thermal glue, you need to know that thermal glue gets easier open when it gets hot. Otherwise you will have no chance. So it should be good now. Now this should be way easier to get open. Let me just try to get deep inside a little bit. I can feel it already. But sometimes you're gonna need to cut the other sides also because like I told on the newer editions, this is the CECH 2500. They are really bad guys because the the I need to tell you that that's yeah look again a great thing <laughs> um normally I don't know if this one is working normally the um, the VRAM chips on the yeah how it calls on the R6 on the other models they are really sitting here okay really here perfectly on the side okay I'm gonna not just yeah try to paint that that you guys can understand that so here on the older ones, the, um, the memory chips here, they are really sitting till the end. But on, um, wait, hope you can see that. Okay, here, they are sitting till the end here, on really, here, on the top also. They are sitting till here, on the older PlayStation 3 Slim editions. They are really sitting here. But on newer editions like on the CECH 2500 or 3000 editions um, the, um, the VRAM chips they are just sitting about let's say about here okay they are a little bit more inside here okay so you need to take care I'm gonna show you this later as I have opened it and that's why you need to take care also with the razor blade when you get here inside with the razor blade that you have really cut it because otherwise it can be that you're gonna just cut the chip and this will be bad okay so here take a look and take care later um, I hope you understand the on the newer models uh, on the CECH 2500 editions up to the CECH and 3000 editions the chips are just like here and on the older uh, PlayStation 3 slim editions the chips are just till the end here you can see that so I'm talking here about the CECH 2000 and CECH 2100 uh, they are sitting till here okay so really till the end but on newers yeah so let me do just my job and I'm gonna now feel uh, a great thing is also for you guys that you should know just make a razor blade for you just that looks like that because on newer models you're gonna need to get also here inside because when it just notice that it still don't want to get open you're gonna need to cut it also on this side on this side and here okay and sometimes you're gonna not be able to get a, a, a great what calls a razor blade here look it will yeah just be bad okay because the capacitors here they are just disturbing and also here on this side all is just disturbing and that's why here just bend it a little bit watch and learn and just crack it here clack clack yeah here with a yeah thing like that and then you are good to go but i'm going to show you i'm going to try late um first i'm going to try it right now uh, like this because i know that heat will help a lot but if uh, i still notice that it's just very hardcore then i'm gonna cut the rest also so let me just make the lights a uh, the lighter a little bit stronger Burn, my fucker, burn! <laughs> so 
Sorry, guys. So, here we go. I'm gonna give it a try again. I'm gonna try to feel it. Yeah, it's not. I don't want to risk it. You can see it's really very hardcore here. I, I cannot try to open it, you know. So, but I just know that you're gonna just break the VRAM chips. So be careful here, okay? So you better, um, yeah, cut it a little bit more because I can already um, already feel it, really, guys. I can feel it. This one here gonna make me problems. Let me try to get this one here inside. Or try to get inside because, like I told, on the new models, it's real, like I said, guys. You better believe what NSC is just talking about. So, here maybe I'm gonna go first to this side because sometimes it just helps also. So, these are the PlayStation. <laughs> When you try here to get here inside and just move it up, you're gonna just crack it, guys. So, try really to work clean, guys. Not kidding. And take care on the SMD stuff and all the rest, okay? Okay. With the other tool, I don't know where it is right now, but... This side. Normally you're gonna need now uh, the screw drill. I'm searching it. Not sure if I'm gonna find it right now. But we shall do that with the screw drill right now. Uh, I'm gonna pause quickly. I'm gonna call my daughter for help. <laughs> Just a second, guys. So, guys, like I told, I need some help. <laughs> my daughter Diana is gonna help me. Say hello, Diana. Hi. <laughs> Say hello to my daughter. <laughs> She's a good one. So, let me heat it up here. Already. And here a little bit. And here a little bit. This one is already open, guys. gonna hold it here my daughter gonna do the rest yep hop hop yeah hop 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 good harder 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 yeah. stop good looks good and here now yeah good yeah <laughs> thumbs up for my daughter Diana. Here, Diana. <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. Good girl. So, and now we're going to try again to pull it up easy. So you can see that nice and clean. So, two are missing right now. Um, let's go maybe for this side now. All right, let's go here. Yeah, I told you guys, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. so, let's try the other side first. Okay, and normally you need a screw drill. This is gonna help you a lot, guys. So I, I just can't find. The screw drill that I just was searching before. 
but if you got just a help like for my daughter then it's just perfect but now let's go again for the last ones here for this two just to test just to test it so here we go okay just for the test you can feel it because if you get here inside you're gonna see it's really hard but as you get um, here um, heat you're gonna feel it gets really better just this two are missing right now fire in the hole Okay, I can feel it down already now. Oh, very hard one, this one. Just doesn't want to open. Come get back now very hard one this one let me try yeah yeah i could i could risk it but i don't want just don't want to risk it i can feel that this two here if you just don't cut them away they're gonna just break out i know what i'm talking about so here let's um, see if i got another screw drill i got somewhere here man but i'm still not finding it doesn't matter, I'm gonna just do it on other way. Maybe here like that. Yeah. Okay, gonna pause again quickly and then I'm gonna get my screw drill. Okay guys, I'm gonna take this one here and uh, I know I have yeah the place still here because on this one here this is some kind of tantal you need to take care. So I'm gonna not just get this here perfectly inside. Like I told, take care that uh, you really place it perfectly. Otherwise, if you just place it too much down, you're going to cut the memory. Okay, so here, I'm not kidding, guys. You're going to need somehow to get here a great um, hot cause. The space and the place that you need. I can feel I'm in, yeah, right now. Okay. So then I'll take this small hammer here. Okay. So okay then here. Can you see something guys? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. More power. Uh -oh. No, no, Diana. Uh -oh. Not working like that. You need more power. I'm gonna heat this one up because this is the next. So. Give it to NC, the place to be. <sighs> Bad boy, this one. I got it open. 
a little bit more. Dun, 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 dun. And let's see. And the more place to be. <laughs> okay. So this one is open already. Let's try to get it a little bit more inside. Yes, I can feel it. I just hear it. Pop! Yeah, it's all still. Yeah. Nothing broke, I hope. Yeah. So let's get it out. And now the last one. Hey, really, guys, you're gonna not believe me. If you have these models here, you better, you better really take care, okay? I, I know what I'm talking. Just a professional one short here, work around, otherwise you're going to just destroy it all. And here take also care on the CPU and take care and take care. Hey, and before I forget, please just take care. We are short record this from the other side so you can see some stuff more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We need to go here because, yeah, just stay there. Find all! <laughs> wow! So, Diana? Yes. Wanna try it again? Okay. Yep. Wait. Something like hmm. we are here. Yep. Slowly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wait, 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 wait. Check, check. One, two. It looks good. Okay. Up, 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 up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Stop. Good. Okay. Keep going on. Slowly, slowly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, slowly now. Yes. Perfect. Here we go. Look at this, guys. Finally, all is done. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, here it's how you should do that. Nice and clean, and I already saw a problem because my daughter was show like you know, <laughs> and now I need to repair something. I think I saw it right. Wait, let me just check it out. Here's no okay, it's nothing here. Yeah, but I saw here a problem. Mm hmm. Look at this one. See that. I have told to my daughter, slowly, Diana, slowly, and now it's broken. It's destroyed. But, hey, you know, guys, NSC is going to fix it. So, where? Let me just check this out. Here, kaboom. Where is it? Here. See that? Puff. Uh -oh. This one. I need to solder it back. And you guys, you should see that. If you just have uh, done um, sadly, why ever? If you just have break some stuff out, you need to take care, guys. Because if you just forget about that one, <laughs> yeah, maybe your PlayStation gonna work. Because I have saw some guys that have broke you somewhere this uh, <laughs> capacitors and sometimes. I had PlayStations here at home uh, that this, uh, yeah, stuff like that, the capacitors here was just broken and the PlayStation was working <laughs> somehow. I don't know why, but it was working. But in some cases, your PlayStation gonna not start and you're gonna just make beep, beep, beep. Okay, so here, 
Thank you, Diana. She gave me more work as I have. <laughs> hey, I'm kidding, okay? I'm kidding. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, my daughter, she loves me. All right, so this one here is easy because it's not already um, out. Okay, it, you can just bend it a little bit back to the place. Okay, so hope you can see that. I'm going to zoom a little bit more. So here we are. Okay, so this is no problem for me, guys. You already know I have done way difficult uh, stuff. So here, I'm going to just solder it back. Good look. I have just placed it back. Really nice. Going to hold it just down. You can see that uh, this small circle here. See that? Wait. I'm shaking too much, guys, because I'm watching myself on the motherboard. This small circle here has the same contact like this capacitor here on this side. So you can also solder just to be on the safe side. You can solder this one to here because this is the same contact. And um, this circle here, this is the same contact to here. This circle and this circle, they are together on this line here, okay? So this is just no problem for me. I'm going to do that right now because otherwise I cannot keep recording it. And then we're going to go for the yeah CPU hit spreader. So let's turn my magic machine on, which is my <laughs> solder iron. Yeah, guys, this is a great video for you guys to learn. Let's go back here. Yeah, my PlayStation is not that. <laughs> but you you need to you need to see the face from my daughter. She just looks like hmm, I don't care <laughs> because my father gonna fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Diana, oh, come from here, do you boo boo? <laughs> She's so safe, you know. She feels like <laughs> I can break them all. <laughs> My father gonna repair it and fix them all. So yeah, she knows me. It's nice. She trusts me also. It's no problem. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right. <gasps> no, no, no. Sorry, my fault. I just wanted to zoom. It's okay like that. Let me see that. Yes. So let me just check if some extra lights going to be better for you guys. Yeah, not bad. So Diana, here. <laughs> so here. It's okay. Make lights off. Mm, lights on. Yeah, it's okay. Better with lights. So, Lari Dari, we like the party. Don't forget about flux. Always the best you can do. Yeah, still all okay, it's just a little bit crack it here. Not really destroyed. I got here thousands of motherboards. <laughs> so if I just need a part, I'm gonna take it from another one. All right, <clears throat> here. Bling, bling. For the players. So I'm going to now just solder it back and I'm going to press it down a little bit, get some newer flux and some newer um, soldering wire. See that? It's just moving already. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, this one is good, 
now I need to turn the motherboard for myself and uh, I think for you guys it should be here let me see where I am here okay lights all right <clears throat> the next solder point that's easy for me guys you know I'm nearly 40 years old and I'm soldering as I got 14 years old and I'm not kidding the first time I had a soldering iron in my hand I was I think 12 and uh, yeah but this came all from my uncle and <laughs> my family they are all like that you know so. <clears throat> and when your family is like that you go grow up like that so it's just okay all right i'm gonna press it down a little bit more because the other side is so also um finished and now here just the last one perfect it's ready we are again ready to go nothing has just happened <laughs> <laughs> nothing happens guys okay it was just it was yeah just like it was happened nothing now like you always can see on my videos get a pencil or whatever it calls get some ipa ipa isopropanolsky here we go oh, then i'm gonna clean My daughter is so quiet. She thinks just right now, oh my god, this was my fault. But it's all okay. Gerne alles gut? Yes. Yes. Aber du fühlst dich eh sicher. Du weißt ganz genau, der Papa kriegt das ja hin, gell? Ja. Habe ich recht oder habe ich recht? <lacht> Von daher keine Panik auf die Titanic. Es gibt Wasser für? <lacht> yes. So, my daughter. She gonna do the next videos on the time where the PlayStation 10 will come or whatever. And my small junior son gonna make the PlayStation 20. So we are ready. I'm gonna not just show you that. Dun, dun, dun. Where is this? My finger is here. Mm, there. Oh my god, it's all so small. So here it is. Can you see that? Wow! Nice and clear. Just get it back. Just too much zoom. This is gonna not work. So I'm here. Shit. Yes. Just nice, guys. Like I told, nothing really broken. The contact lines were still there, so yeah, we had luck. Diana always brings me luck, <laughs> but first with some work. Okay, now um, get the lights up here. Thanks. All right, we are good to go again. Let's move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to? Move it. <laughs> I can't hear you. You like to? My doll is so shy. But it's okay. So, now, let's go for my favorite. Also, here on the CPU cell hit spreader, uh, just take care, they are way thinner as the other ones, and the place to get your tool here inside is really a little bit thinner as normally, okay? So, uh, also here, some heat gonna help you because the silicone here with heat gets really soft, you know? So, let me try to record this like that. No, looks good. So here I'm gonna be able to cut it, yes? Let me just check this out for you guys. Because I need to hold it, also. 
um, fire and heat it up just here all around okay and take care don't burn your motherboard some people say gonna just think oh my god this guy's just stupid <laughs> So the newcomers on my channel, they're gonna think, oh my god, this guy is just sick. But yes, what can I do? So, let's try to get in. And let me just work, guys. Let's do a record, come on. It's open right now. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Yes, I can feel it already. So this one is good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Perfect. Okay, guys, I'm gonna clean it all like it will be. I just, yeah, need to clean all the stuff. Like you know, again, take a razor blade, begin to clean all the stuff, take care and take care and take care. And hey, guys, before I forget, take care. Oh, come on, I'm gonna clean it with you. I just thought, hey, um, for now, why not? Um, can just watch also how I clean it and before I forget the other thing that I just wanted to talk with you is that um, here you can see still the thermal paste this is yeah this is the reason why I have just done the video uh, because normally really guys you just don't need to remove the heat spreaders yet okay you can just wait till the time comes that the PlayStation gonna overheat but um, yeah you know me already, I need to open them all. <laughs> I just love it and uh, this is my work, you know, and you know, um, like I told you, some when you're gonna need to do it, so um, you can wait till it's gonna overheat one day, so, uh, yeah, or it calls, um, one day, if you like or not, your PlayStation gonna overheat, you can do nothing, yeah, it, it will just come, so with the time, uh, the PlayStations, they are running hot here inside, they're gonna lose the thermal paste here inside and then it's just game over for you guys and uh, so that's why you are gonna need to remove the heat spreaders one day I don't know <laughs> which day it will be but one day your PlayStation gonna run so hot that you're gonna need so much fan speed and it's still gonna overheat because the thermal paste here inside you can see that is just not there just like here okay and thermal paste here inside all the time will get just corrupted and then you're gonna have these problems okay I just wanted to tell you that so that you guys know um, yeah why I have opened it at last <laughs> and why I have now yeah how it calls yeah deleted already because this is my work and I can't really believe myself that I have not deleted it but it was just for you guys can see it was just for a great test it was just for yeah some shit happens just like here with my daughter and you guys can see how to fix it and you guys can learn some stuff and 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 <laughs> okay but let's just clean that all and I'm gonna record later again so guys I have cleaned it now a little bit and this is just enough you can now just pull it all together um, yeah, now I just want also to show you what I have just mean before. You can see that the RAM chips here they are sitting a little bit more inside, okay? So they are not just till here. Wait, um, we got here. I don't know. Yeah, I can just show you with this one here. So look, normally the RAM chips here, the VRAM chips, they are sitting till here. So wait here. Okay, they are sitting here till the end from the chip and here on the, yeah, up also. Normally on the older PlayStation 3 models, like I told, the VRAM chips, they are not so much inside. They are still, or they are till here, see that? Till the end of the chip. Okay, remember what I'm saying. And that's why you need to take care. Okay, so 
I'm gonna now clean this one here too. Need to pull it all together with the heat spreaders all back together and then yeah, I think we're gonna do again the test. Maybe it will not be uh, <laughs> so much uh, difference because like I told you guys, this was all here just okay, but I just wanted to do that for myself. <laughs> yeah, crazy stuff. So guys, here I am, um, all finished, all clean it. I got here again um, MX4 as thermal paste and you can see how it looks. Just done as a slim line like you can see here. And I'm gonna now just put it all together. I have just talked again MX4 because it was also before with MX4 just that we can see a test that we can see a great, uh, yeah, what calls uh, difference. So we're going to be better or we're going to be able to compare it better. So yes. Okay, I'm going to now just close this all and uh, then I'm going to now just um, yeah, make this all a little bit faster for you guys. Otherwise, you need to wait so long. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. I'm going to put it all together and then let's go for a test. Before I forget, I just wanted also to show you this small stuff here, because um, you can see here, I have done here, yeah, some great small modification, so we don't need, on this model, <laughs> you don't really need to make some holes in the case, but for that I have just made it um, under there, so nobody will see, wait, hope the focus is great right now, okay, so from down nobody can see that. Um, but at last I have cut it here, you can see that, see? Just here, nice. Wait, now you can see that better, see that? Um, I have just opened it a little bit more than here, because on this side it is already a little bit open, but I have just opened it a little bit more, so um, the air gonna be able to get there inside way better. And of course, uh, this is also great and better for a better airflow. I know this is um, for the test maybe not uh, that great because this should always be compared with just like it was before too. But after that, I just don't want to open this PlayStation anymore. So for that, uh, I have just done it. And uh, I think so or so that the temperatures will stay nearly the same. And uh, one or two degrees more or less it doesn't matter because uh, this PlayStation was already running very cool. But for the test, like I told you, I'm gonna just do it all like it was before, so that means we're gonna just let it work without the front case, because so it was the first test, and so this uh, holds here doesn't matter. But later, when just gonna close the case, this is really great because the air will come here, just like on the PlayStation 3 Fat Editions, it will come directly over here, because normally you just have these small slim holes on the side, and this is not that great, okay? So, yeah, it's better than nothing, but this holes on the side, they are really so thin. You can see that here, okay? So, and, yeah, for that, I have just done it like that. So, this is really just cool. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing my work, and here, let's go.
So guys, we are good to go. Um, I'm finished here. I'm gonna do the, the rest after the video. And for now, let me just clean here all a little bit because I need some place. And then we can go for a quick test. So, um, let's put it over there. Wait. So. Yeah, look at my table. Again, lots of stuff. Ah, the sweetie feet. <laughs> I was searching them. <laughs> it was under the clothes paper. Oh my god! So, okay, here's all okay. So, let's go. Look how it looks. See that? Wait, let me just take my LED lamp. My LED lamp or lights, so and you can see it better. Yeah, but it's okay. It's nice, it's good, and nobody will see that, so it's just great. So before I forget the hard disk, of course. All right. And then let's go for a test. So guys, I hope you like this kind of videos with lots of work. So just adjust the camera right now again. No, um yeah. I hope this is okay. All right, controller. So guys, here, let's go. I'm gonna now just turn the lights off because it's just better for the video. And here we go. While the PlayStation is talking, I'm clinging here a little bit because you know guys, I always have a lot to do. Here we go. Okay, uh, yeah, press the button. Same PlayStation Steel, but now with removed heat spreaders. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, guys, but I need always to cut them away. I know the problems already, so. Um, let's just check this out first, beep, yep, and now uh, my games, yes, God of War still there, that's nice, yeah, I think, okay, let me just adjust it even a little bit more, so, okay, so, what we got here, 36 and 33, yeah, Let's wait because um, you can see that uh, now the I think the R six now is a little bit cooler than before. I need to um, edit my video later, and now the R six is uh, about two or three degrees. But it's like I told, this will not change much because it was already nice, guys. It was already really nice. But uh, this and more you're gonna see on the video, and. Uh, I'm gonna now maybe just start God of War and then yeah I'm gonna let it wait because yeah it's okay you can see that the difference is just about two degrees guys see that <laughs> it's all just okay all right and it's a great PlayStation like I told because this one is running very very cool so the chips here they don't need so much energy you know so it's really great okay let's start it and I'm gonna play to that special point that you already know. <laughs> yeah, guys. <laughs> it helps. Uh, 
Uh, version no, 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 no. I think the CPU is just the same like it was before and the R6 now is cooler. Am I right or am I wrong? I need to check this later when I'm gonna, when I'm gonna uh, edit the video. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to see that better. Because I just can't remember right now. So I'm gonna connect another controller because I need to charge it. I need to charge another controller. So, looks good. Alright. Let's start. New game. I don't know. Let's load the game. Yes, no, I don't know. Yeah, let's load it. It's faster. Then I go and I'm gonna jump to that place where it's really getting hot and then I'm gonna let it stay for a while. 42, 41, it has also here 42. Quickly I saw it. Yeah, 43, 42 on still 28% fan speed guys. This is just awesome, really awesome. Yeah, my controller just begins to be braid and it just falls down so yeah so i'm gonna now just disable the vibrations give me a second guys uh, control the settings vibration off otherwise it's gonna fall always down <laughs> okay yeah guys, I'm gonna now clean my table here already a little bit. I'm gonna let it run for some minutes. And then you're gonna see the temperatures. 45, 46, 28 degrees without the case. <laughs> Just great temperatures guys. So I'm gonna yeah put the camera a little bit later to the uh, a little bit near to the display. Come with me. <laughs> Great temperatures, guys. All right, I'm gonna now just let it run three minutes. I'm gonna clean, maybe we're gonna wait till 10 minutes, and then I think it's just okay. So guys, um, yeah, after now nearly 13 minutes, nothing changed that much. That means we are here now stable on 50-55 and uh, this is just pretty, pretty <laughs> awesome, really. Um, this is just awesome. I, I, can't, I have no, no words for that, really guys. If you have a PlayStation, which is the same model as my, and if your PlayStation is running cooler as my, on the same fan speed then please let me know because then I think I do something wrong <laughs> so <laughs> yeah guys lovely really I have no words this this one is just lovely take a look again here okay I'm gonna now just place uh, close the case like I told and then uh, we're gonna see of course that the temperature is gonna go a little bit more up or hotter but I don't care it's just to test and I'm gonna write, of course, also here in the video, I'm gonna edit some stuff, I'm gonna write you here the difference, because I'm gonna just check it also, like the temperatures was before, before I have just removed the heat spreaders, I'm gonna check also at the same time, and then I'm gonna just post you that on this video here, 
because this is just guys <laughs> we are here under 60 degrees and um, <laughs> to get to uh, 68 degrees we are far far away from 68 degrees guys really <laughs> this remembers me on my <laughs> nice playstation 3 fat edition which i have totally modified with a psu and all the stuff like you, you yeah like you just saw in the last video oh my god i just love this playstation man really the playstation 3 fat edition that i have uh, the c model is just as working just fantastic but now you can see it just has jump uh, to 51 56 but this will stay now for the next half uh, uh, minutes you know so uh, for the next half hour okay <laughs> this will just stay like that because it was taking so long to get to 51 and 56 and it was all the time on 50 yeah it was a long time on 50 degrees and 55 degrees uh, till it jumps now to 51 and 56 and please really guys do not forget we are here on 28 fan speed uh, uh, okay we are here on 28 uh, percent fan speed so sorry my fault yeah my english sometimes is a little bit complicated <laughs> but i try my best for you so and it was again a lot of work i'm getting tired again i got here again the next playstation waiting of me and that's why i'm so busy and uh, i need always to uh, let it run because otherwise when i just sleep one day when i just do not do some stuff or uh, one day i have so much to do for the next days you know and uh, i can't i can't do that because i have four kids i have four children and i can't do that so here let's close it and let's see if this small holds here has bring something but i don't care this is just yeah to close this playstation forever <laughs> so, finish But if you take a closer look, if you listen great, you can hear that the fan now, the fan noise is uh, some kind of difference, okay? Wait, I'm gonna take you near to the PlayStation, wait. Come with me. You hear that? I'm gonna not take the case off, wait. I'm gonna try it with one hand. You can hear it's no problem for the fan to get the air. Now I'm gonna close it again. Okay guys, I hope you was able to hear that. So it has already 52, 57, just because I have the case over there. I'm gonna make again the lights off. I'm gonna let it record it just like that. You see the case is on here. I'm gonna go a little bit back for the people that maybe doesn't believe that stuff. So you can see the case and the temperatures now. Okay here. 53, 58, still okay. So let's wait a little bit again and then I'm gonna take off again the case that you guys can see how the temperatures will fall down again. And yeah, the video is nearly finished and I hope you just like it. <laughs> yeah, so see you in the next minutes. So guys, here we are again, back 57, 62, um, yeah, it's okay, <laughs> still far away from 68 degrees guys, on 28% fan speed. I'm gonna now just open the case again, and now let's wait again a little bit. Thank you.
Yeah guys, here, <laughs> not bad, I was waiting now about 5 minutes again, 5 or 6 minutes, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, you can see, 52 degrees on the CPU, the CPU is just awesome, <laughs> the CPU is just so cool, really nice. And yeah, the R6, because it's working of course with the graphics, is on about 58 degrees, we have no pass, um, yeah, over 60 degrees without the case. With the case, I think it was about 62 degrees as I saw it right. Otherwise, I'm gonna just write this all on the video. I'm gonna later, um, yeah, edit the video. And now um, we're gonna also test, um, yeah, the time that it needs to cool down. So here, let's quit the game. And then we can also just check it out. Maybe I'm gonna put the case over there. Just that you guys can see also with the case. Should be no problem right now. This PlayStation is just awesome, guys. A nice one, really. <laughs> so, here back to 51 and 56. Not bad. Yeah, it was just like I told at load. Uh, of course, the play PlayStation was a little bit uh, hot calls. Uh, yeah, force it to run a little bit hotter. But it doesn't matter, it's just okay. And this here gonna take also again about five minutes, so that's why if you want to wait, I can wait, it's no problem. We can just uh, let it run again for the next five minutes with the case, because some people they are also here on the same PlayStation, maybe with the case, but it's just that you guys can see the difference also. And uh, on PlayStations, this needs always a little bit time to cool down. You need always to calculate about five minutes, but it's just okay. Even even if you just shut it off now, 52 and 56 is just okay, guys. Really, guys. <laughs> just impressed with myself. Um, yeah, <laughs> like you can see with the case closed, um, <laughs> we have nearly the same temperatures as in game without the case. You understand what I mean? So that means in game playing God of War 3 without the case, we had nearly the same temperatures. So that means <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's, if the case is over there or not, because uh, the PlayStation so or so is really cool. And all the rest is just because the airflow. Okay, guys, you need to understand that. So for the people that have maybe a little bit uh, how it costs, um, yeah, for the people that that are afraid to uh, remove the heat spreaders, you can go to make some holes on your case. This is gonna give you a lot of more, uh, uh, yeah, better temperatures, guys. Like you can see, and like you always can see on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's just the same as you open the case. If you just do here some holes in front or over the fan itself, just get a nice fan uh, uh, or let's say a, a dust filter under there and uh, this will just look great and you're gonna have really so much better temperatures guys. So for the people, like I told, that are afraid to remove or to delete the heat readers, you should make some holes in the case because you're gonna have about 4 till 6 degrees better temperatures. I'm gonna not just here open it again for you guys, <laughs> just quickly that you can see the difference. Uh, I will just open it. I, I, I'm I'm pretty sure in about one or in the next two second, um, in about one or in the next second minute, this gonna get cooler. Okay, so ah, my English is just difficult for me, guys. I really I'm sorry. And the room temperature is uh, a little bit hotter right now because the PlayStation is working around here and all the stuff. But this it's just okay. 20.7 and it's just okay like I told here focus on this one it's still all okay and um, I just love it really guys this this PlayStation here look it begins already to fall down 53 okay wow 
a big video again. <laughs> yeah, I need to cut it all and prepare it all to edit that all. A lot of time, guys, really. But uh, I like to do that for you guys can really see how to get it really cool it down. And also for the PlayStation 5, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it cooler as it is right now. Or as it is, yeah, for now. The liquid metal stuff on the PlayStation 5, hmm, I don't know. Some kind of risky, you know. So, But uh, yeah, I have a lot of great ideas for the future. I'm going to not tell you. But yeah, you're going to love it. Of course you're going to love it. I'm working size the PlayStation 1. I had all PlayStation 1 editions. I had all PlayStation 2 editions. I had all PlayStation 3 editions. And I had also all PlayStation 4 editions. <laughs> and now the PlayStation 5 will come. So I'm going to, of course, work also on the PlayStation 5. But um, yeah, for now it's really hard to get it. The people are just crazy for the PlayStation 5. And I also sometimes I like to be the guy that's just waiting, you know. Because the, the newer PlayStations that comes out, they always have some problems. And I prefer to wait and to check around and to look around the problems. And then I'm good prepared for my stuff, you know what I mean. <laughs> so it's all just about testing, testing, testing. And yeah, it's like Sony does, you know. Sony, they just let other people to test that all for them. <laughs> because normally when you just make a smartphone or when you just make a, a PlayStation, it should be tested over years and not just one or two months, you know. This needs to be tested over years, guys. The same like the Tamil paste that I just used, like the MX4. You know, this Tamil paste, MX4, Arctic MX4, this Tamil paste was tested years long. And that's why this manufacturer, they give you 8 years warranty on the Tamil paste, guys. Yeah, I'm not kidding. So, you can buy others, of course, you can find better ones like Tamil Grizzly or whatever, but we don't know how they gonna work after about 8 or 10 years and that's why I just tell you that, okay? It doesn't matter if it's some Tamil paste from uh, um, Polymatech or from, I don't know, whatever ones, uh, from Cooler Master or it doesn't matter, like I told, from Arctic Silver, it doesn't matter. Uh, all the stuff should be tested long, long enough to say or just then you can say, yeah, it's okay or no, it's not okay and that's how I'm working here. On my YouTube channel, I'm testing that all all the days. I'm doing my stuff. I'm learning more. I'm 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 practicing more. I'm I'm finding more stuff out. I, I'm just uh, yeah discovering so many stuff and so many things for myself. And I'm I'm trying really always to to beat myself. You know, <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I try always to beat myself. Always, yeah. So for me, um, yeah. It's like that. I'm, I'm never perfect, you know. The definition perfect for me it doesn't exist because you can do it always better. If one guy gonna tell you, hey, this is just perfect, I'm pretty sure you can even make it better as perfect. You know, it's just all about practice, all about knowledge. It's all about the time and patience, guys. Really, I, I know what I'm talking about. I just want to be a great teacher for you guys. And I tell you really one thing. I really always try to beat myself. <laughs> you saw that, how fast I have just cut the, the CPU on this model. Yeah, yeah I, I just can do that with closed eyes, guys. Really, if one will close my eyes, just give me my tool. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm going to cut you the, <laughs> the, the heat breather from the CPU without problems. You can close my eyes. I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding, just close my eyes, I'm gonna just cut it around. <laughs> Maybe one day I'm gonna do a crazy video like that. But um, yeah, on this one here, just take care on the R6, like I told you. Sometimes you're gonna need to be, uh, um, yeah, to be forced to cut all the four edges on the R6, just like I have done it right now, okay? Because on the, on the latest PlayStation 3 models, like on this ones, take care, guys, I know what I'm talking about you can't destroy your VRAM chips, okay? So don't go over there and just clunk, okay? <laughs> don't do that, believe me. On this models, you're gonna just destroy your RSX or your GPU. Okay, um, this was all for now. And uh, here, look again, 49.54. Doesn't matter, just about some 
uh, how it calls. Yeah, three, four, five degrees Celsius. The difference is uh, it's okay, you know. So if you have a PlayStation that is running on about sixty, uh, how it calls, um, seventy-six degrees, seventy-seven degrees, or nearly eighty degrees, yeah. And if you are afraid to delete or to remove the heat spreaders, then go there, install the fan adjuster, or just get you a jailbreak. It doesn't matter if it's hand or hung or a real custom firmware, just like I prefer. I always prefer a real custom firmware, of course. <laughs> and uh, then you can, of course, see with a uh, Webman mod, you can adjust your fan. And But it's just disturbing when your fan is always running on about 50% or, or 60%, you know. It's just disturbing and you want to kill your fan. Because the beer ring inside there is gonna be gonna get louder and louder, and one day the fan is just destroyed, you know. And that's why I just yeah prefer to cool it really great down. But if you are afraid, guys, you can just use these videos from me to uh, compare that with your PlayStations, you know. So I just I'm just a good guy, guys, really. And you can just compare it all. So you saw it with the case, close it. Uh, it was about on uh, 60 or 62 degrees, doesn't matter. You can see a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, which I have also the case closet. And then you can compare it with your PlayStation. And then you know if it's necessary to remove your heat spreaders soon or not. <laughs> but I can tell you one thing. One day, one day, you're going to need to remove the heat spreaders. Otherwise, it's going to be destroyed. But some people just doesn't care about it because they think, ah, it's just a shitty PlayStation 3 I don't care about because yeah they just throw all the way and this is just that that makes me sad so the people are just throwing all the way some stuff is broken throw it away <laughs> but if you just do it like me if you if you would just repair it better as it was before or as the manufacturers has made then you can have really a long time uh, uh, or a longer time uh, your your stuff for you guys you know I hope you understand what I mean so here you can see it, it begins already to get up again. But it doesn't matter. Even if boot was or would work on 60 degrees, it's just perfect, guys. Okay, Because we are here on just about 28% fan speed. Okay, Remember that. Here again. Okay, guys. That was all for me. I got some special videos again coming for you. But now I still need to work on some other stuff. I had also a lot of problems with my car. I was just repairing it all because I yeah just like on my PlayStations I repair all alone on my car even it's if if it's the motor or not <laughs> I repair all alone on my car I do that all alone and now my car was finished <laughs> and the next car comes <laughs> and uh, yeah it's always like that so cars they they need a lot of love to just like PlayStations you know <laughs> okay that was me and see in the place to be. I wish you all the best and I hope you just like this video guys. See ya soon. Bye bye. Okay. Okay.